remember when I first started singing, she said, sing. And I was with Auntie Candice and she said, sometimes you have to encourage yourself. Come on, Dad. Sometimes you song and we sung and then mother and then mother she kind of you know she couldn't really say too much great but we know she was vibing off of it because that's the environment that she loved and we were able to recreate that environment and then we left I was the last son to be there and at about 1 45 I left with the thought that I'll be back in the morning to see mother and I just believe in my mind, this is my reality, this is my truth. I believe in my mind that Mother said about maybe 3.45 or maybe a quarter to four, maybe 10 minutes to four, because she took her flight at 4.20 in the morning. And Mother always was an early person because many of us was able to call her at two or three in the morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When we had some situations that we couldn't deal with, we had a phone number. And her phone, the only thing is her phone would sometimes be busy, but you could get back to her. But I believe mother said, them boys are not coming back tonight. They all gone to their homes. They're not coming back tonight. This is a good time for me, Greg, to go on and take my flight. So I'm happy, I really am, I'm happy. And to look at every face out here tonight and to see you all, some of you, if you met her 20 minutes or if you met her five minutes, or if you had 63 beautiful years with it like I was blessed to have. All the stories is the same, that she touched the life. And I think that's what real love does. It's not a matter of how long it is. It's the fact that it is. And mother is, and she was. And one day I'm gonna be with her again in heaven. And I'm going to know her as she is, as she is known. 